Hello, welcome to Odisha State Open University. Today we'll discuss about content distribution for various media. Once you created your content, but you need to share that content in a proper platform so that the users can view it. After final output, you need to package and present that multimedia content in a proper way and in a right platform. There are various platforms where you can share your content. So let's discuss about various platforms that share content. There are different multimedia platforms where you can share your projects such as digital image, digital video, digital audio, digital text or through media like television, radio, internet, CD, DVD, hard disk, pen drive or external hard disk. Digital images are actually mosaics of millions of tiny squares called picture elements or just pixels. The computer divides the screen or image into a grid of pixels. If you expand the image here you can see tiny squares that form the picture. Images consist of color also. It is done through the RGB and CMYK. C stands for cyan, M for magenta, Y for yellow and K stands for black. RGB mode is mostly used for unscreened presentation image and CMYK mode is used for printing purpose. Here you can see the color mode with their numerical specification. There are many other file format you can use to encode digital images. TIFF is lossless and gives the best quality output. The file size are quite big. JPG is optimized for photographs and similar continuous tone images that contain many many colors. JPG should not be used for line art. GIF is lossless only for images with 256 color or less. PNG is a lossless storage format. However, in contrast with common TIFF uses, it looks for pattern in the image that it can use to compress file size. If you want to display a photograph without loss or an web, PNG can be a good choice. Raw is an image output option available on some digital cameras. So you need to have the manufacturer software to view the images. BMP is an uncompressed proprietary format invented by Microsoft. PST, PSP, etc. are the proprietary format used by graphics program. Photoshop's file have the PST extension while Penshop Pro file uses PSP. You should have the final result in TIFF, PNG or JPG format after finishing your work in the proprietary format of the graphics software. There are some vector formats such as AI or Illustrator files, CDR or Corel Draw files, INDD or InDesign files, FLA or Flash files, DWG or AutoCAD drawing files, DXF or AutoCAD 3D files and compound formats like EPS, PDF, SWF and PICT. Digital video files comprise of millions of images arranged one after another in a systematic sequence. Hence, majority of the video are compressed which means they have been altered to take up less space on a computer. Most video files have at least two different types. The container and the codec used inside that container is a way of encoding audio or video into a stream of bytes whereas container contains the various components of a video. The stream of images, the sound and anything else container is associated with the file format. Some codecs have containers with the same name also. MPEG-4 is both a codec and a container. 
You can also encode a video with an MPEG-4 codec inside a FVIE container. The codec can be different for video and audio. So the first one is audio video interleave or AVI is one of the long running digital video format. It is over less compression than comparable video file format including MOV and MPEG. The second one is advanced systems format or ASF. It houses file compressed with Microsoft's WMA and WMB codec. The MOV and QT Apple QuickTime movie file format both support a wide range of codecs. The .mov format saves video file and the .qt suffix is cross-platform meaning that it supports both Mac and Windows systems. The two file extensions are commonly saved together. Now, advanced video coding high definition or ABCST is the result of a Panasonic and Sony collaboration as the video file format for digital camcorders. It is commonly used for data compressed with the H264 codec. It is a file based format so it can be played back and stored on a range of strong devices. Flash video or FLB or SWF has been around for some time and comes in numerous versions. Old flash videos tend to use the Sorsen codec and new flash uses H264. It is popular container format for streaming video across the internet but a large drawback is that it is not supported on iOS device so you have to keep in mind this. Then MPEG video. MPEG video file is a prevalent video file format which integrates MPEG 1, MPEG 2 video and audio compressor. MPEG 1 is almost exclusively used for VCDs. MPEG 2 is used for DVDs and broadcast SD TV. MPEG 4 format is used to share file on the web. Video and audio tracks are compressed separately which the video file is compressed with MPEG-4 encoding and audio with AAC compression which is the same audio compression type used in .AAC file. The MPEG-4 container with the H264 has whispered popularity after it was adapted as the leading format for iOS devices. Like digital video, digital audio format is made of audio codecs. The data is presented in a compressed form to reduce the size of the file. Digital audio format can be broken down into two categories, compressed and uncompressed. If you choose a compressed format, you can opt for a format that use either lossy or lossless compression. Lossy compression loses some of the original audio information to create a smaller file. In lossless compression, file size is reduced without any loss in quality between the original source file and the resulting file. But it results in larger file size. On the other hand, uncompressed audio is exactly what it sound like. Real sound waves that have been captured and converted to digital format without any further processing means here you don't need to process as a result uncompressed audio file tend to be the most accurate but take up a lot of text space for capturing and editing raw audio uncompressed format is better as you can work with the truest quality of the audio possible you can export to a compressed format after only editing if you're okay with good enough music quality if your audio file doesn't have any music or if you need to conserve disk space, you can use lossy audio compression. Most of the people actually can't hear the difference between lossy and lossless compression. For digital text, you can use text format or TXT, portable document format or PDF, Microsoft Word or docs.xlsx. Or Microsoft Excel files are suitable for table contents whereas for presentation one can use 
Vipitex or Microsoft PowerPoint file. There are various formats which are used for television output in different countries. The major television formats are PAL or Phase Alternating Lines, NTSC or National Television Standard Committee and SD or High Definition. For radio broadcast, you can use both compressed and uncompressed audio file. MV4 is the new and upcoming format for internet video. For audio on internet, MP3 is widely used. These days MP3 is very popular. For images on internet, JPEG, PNG and GIF format are widely used. Traditionally, compact discs and DVDs are most preferred choice for digital content distribution. You can also use pen drive or external hard disk to copy the file. External hard disk is useful in cases when the amount of data file is of higher capacity. We have discussed about the various platform where you can share your project. So it's your choice. You can choose the suitable platform to make your project visible so that the people or the user can use your project. Thank you.